Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. This is the fifth video of Hai Yang's Practice Proverb series. A new series that started four weeks ago introducing my original proverbs to help our community improve the internal style practice. Following the same structure as the prior weeks, I will first answer questions about last week's proverb, then move on to the new proverb. So let's recap last week's proverb first. It was 行为载意之气,意为空行之本,行义合一乃为武功之本质. Oh, body is the carrier of the mind and the mind is the controller of the body. Integration of a body and the mind is the nature of a martial art practice. This proverb can be applied in both martial art and Xiu Dao practice since, by nature, the relationship between the mind and the body is the same. A community member, Barbie Biggs, asked a question in the comment section, quote, These three proverbs have quite a bit of information. Is there a way to break them down into smaller, digestible parts? End quote. I'd like to briefly answer this question. First of all, this is one proverb, but it has three parts, and each part describes the function of the body the mind, and their impact on practice. In other words, the three parts worked as the one to fully explain the relationships between the three of them. Only paying attention to one of them would only cover a part of the whole. Now, let's talk about how to apply them in practice. This proverb emphasizes the concept of integration of the body and the mind. For example, unifying martial art forms and uh, techniques and their martial intents or applications as one in practice, which is the theory that can be used in improving the quality of a practice. However, any knowledge without application in practice would eventually only remain at the theoretical level without achieving any significant tangible effect. So, how to apply this proverb in practice? That is a question that I did not answer in the first place, but I'd like to take this opportunity to briefly elaborate on it. The answer is that a practitioner has to know the martial intent or application of each movement. Very often, one movement may have multiple applications. Furthermore, the mental intensity of visualizing each movement's application is important too. Simply speaking, when the practitioner is learning a new movement, the mental intensity of the visualization can be strong. However, after understanding the application itself, then the focus should still be on the improvement of the movement itself instead of still maintaining a strong visualization practice. A useful approach is to focus on the overall martial objective or its martial energy level in a relaxed fashion instead of applying a specific strong martial intent, or else this very martial intent may lead to stiffness at this moment. Again, as I mentioned many times in prior videos, 
Correct practice is the way to balance different factors that can all help improve the practice, but one needs to prioritize and choose the right level of energy in training. Now, let's move on to today's new proverb. It is Tai Ji Ba Fa, Peng Cai Xiang Fan, Peng Kai Cai He. Translation Among the eight Tai Chi energies, Peng energy and Cai energy are opposites of each other. Peng energy is the opening energy, while Cai is the closing energy. End translation. In other words, among the eight energies of Tai Chi, Peng energy and Cai energy are two opposite types in terms of their martial intents. Peng energy focuses on the opening, while Cai focuses on closing. So, there are three parts to this proverb. Let me explain them one by one. The first sentence, Tai Ji Ba Fa. The first two words, Tai Ji, commonly called Tai Chi in the West, is the name of a style that can be practiced both for self defense and health maintenance. Ba means eight, Fa means method. Put it together, it means the Tai Chi eight energies. In the Tai Chi community, especially in Tai Chi classics, Tai Chi Eight Energy can also be called Tai Chi Eight Gates, Tai Chi Eight Methods, and so on. I have a video titled Tai Chi and Its Eight Gate Forces From Theory to Practice. In that video, these eight energies have been discussed in detail. The link is in the description. The second sentence, Peng Cai Xiang Fan, or Peng Energy and Cai Energy are opposite of each other. The first word is Peng, which means Peng Energy, or World of Energy. On one hand, it is the basic Tai Chi energy that the entire body, including the arms, palms, and head, should maintain and expanding motion or energy. On the other hand, Peng can also mean to strike someone with some of the body areas. For example, in a self-defense situation, you can strike your opponent with a Peng energy. So, overall, Peng is the outward expanding type of martial energy. The second word of this sentence is Cai. A typical Tai Chi energy that is used to lock or control your opponent's movements. It can be executed by one hand or with two hands, or even other body parts. But usually, two hand posture is the typical Cai posture. Especially in Tai Chi put hand, Cai usually is used as the main movement to control the opponent's incoming attack. These photos show some Tai Chi posture applying Cai energy. <clears throat> the third word of this sentence is Xiang, which means mutually. The fourth word is Fan, which means opposite. Put it together, this sentence means that in the Tai Chi Eight Energies, Peng Energy and Cai Energy are opposites of each other. Now, let's move on to the third sentence. The third sentence is Peng Kai Cai He, or Peng Energy is the opening energy, while Cai is the closing energy. Peng means word off, Kai means opening. Cai means locking energy, He means closing. This proverb says that the difference between Peng energy and the Cai energy is that Peng energy applies an opening approach, an expanding motion, while Cai energy 
is a closing approach of our body motion, also a contracting motion toward the opponent's body. The overall martial energies between these two Tai Chi energies are opposite by nature. Therefore, in Tai Chi application, especially in Tai Chi push and practice, when applying these two specific Tai Chi energies, different body motions and martial intent working toward the opponent's body are opposite. One is opening and the other is closing. Now, let's recap this proverb. Among the eight energies of Tai Chi, Peng energy and Cai energy are two opposite types in terms of their martial intents. Peng energy focuses on the opening, while Cai focuses on closing. You can apply this concept in both self defense and push hand practice. That brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed this proverb. Please post your questions about that proverb in the comment section. I will answer them for you in the first part of a next nice week's video. Thanks for watching. See you next time and enjoy your practice.